So, uh, to transform Freddy King, really, you can start anywhere you want. Uh, where should I start? Let's start in the arms. Rotate them forward like so. I'm going to show this as best as I can. Rotate these wings up and kind of bring them up just to get them out of the way. Come back here, kind of just spread those legs out. Take this middle section, separate that, and that's actually what becomes his legs. You want to take this whole section, rotate that forward. You want to take this, rotate these kind of just down until they look, you think that they start to look like legs. Okay, take come back here, uh, take this, fold that in, fold that up, and then one thing I gotta talk about real quick is, as you can see, this one's backwards. On the other leg, this curved part is facing up, which I think it should look on both, because of the transformation, it's gotta be that way. When I got this out of package, it's obviously in robot mode, and I thought it was, like, broken. I thought it was, uh, I thought that it was, like, switched, it was assembled wrong, so the idiot I am, I'm jabbing that big peg out, and I'm trying to flip it around, it's not until I'm watching uh, a video, or I look at the instructions, until I, f I realize that that's correct, so I'm really stupid, if you think that's wrong, it's not, don't be an idiot like me, so, uh, is it better with this light off, who knows, so, you want to do that, and then you want to come onto here, and then you want to do that, and then the same on this leg, you want to rotate down, rotate up, and that kind of sort of locks into place, not really. Uh, you can take these sections and rotate those down. And ladies and gents, here you have the legs of the almighty Predator King! <laughs> that sounded stupid. So take these arms, rotate these down, close up these hands, and his claws actually become his hands. Another thing people complain about, I don't mind it at all. I think it's awesome. Take these little black bits, fold, f -f 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 fold, and then uh, now things get a little bit, I'd say, tricky. You want to take this, rotate this down, and then uh, see if I can get this angled up. Take this chest section and open it up. Now... I'm turning that off. Uh, as you can see, well, you can't see, but his head is in there. You want to take this, and that's going to rotate his head out. And then you want to come back here. We'll kind of rotate it back in a little bit. Take his dragon head, and then this has got to rotate. It's almost like you're switching the places of the heads. This has got to completely go inside of his chest. But that can be a pain in the butt to do. As you can see, I'm trying to just jam it in there. Well, that's actually something you don't want to do because you don't want to break it. And then uh, get his head in. And then there's an actual tab on his neck that pegs right into his chest. And you can't see it here, but you'll see it on your toy. And then uh, I think that's how. And as you can see, there's little spikes sticking off the back of the dragon head. There's little holes in there. Now you have to get all those in here, and it's a complete pain. And I'm going to save myself the embarrassment and be right back once I've got them through. Alright, now I've got those through, so we can continue. I mean, this is pretty much his transformation. Now, the directions, I believe, have you putting his wings really far down, like all the way down here. That's way too low for me. Now, I know some people actually like to bring him up over his shoulders. I, I've seen a lot of people doing that. I don't really like the look of that. I like to just get him as far up as possible, and to kind of just fold him in, like so, to make him look like he has wings, but not too protruding, but not too non-protruding. Somewhere right in the middle. And now, uh, if you've get, gotten everything straightened out correctly, ladies and gentlemen, here you have the almighty Predaking, if I can get him to stand, all floppy looking, in his robot. In his robot mode. So, really, I think this is absolutely amazing looking. Uh, he's got spikes everywhere. He looks like he will bust you up. I mean, he, as if this isn't terrifying enough, he's come with weapon. He comes with weapons. Now, here's a sword. It doesn't really look like a sword, and I don't like it. Now, let me show you why I don't like it. As you can see, on the inside of his claw, there's a little peg hole. Uh, and, and as you can see, there's pegs on that little handle on the sword. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to peg that in, right? But uh, as you start even to just slightly move it, boop, oh, what's that? It comes right out of the peg. Damn. And then, even if you can get the peg to stay in, it can barely close around it, 
And I absolutely hate this thing. It, I mean, oh, well, that doesn't look too bad. So you can do that. You can do that. That's one weapon option. And you can leave it plugged in on his back. But that would just be huge. And then uh, the other weapon option is his dragon heads. Now, honestly, they just fold, I guess, for the heck of it. Uh, I don't know if they're supposed to be folded for another mode or something. But he doesn't even hold these well. I mean... You can just about get him to, like, hold, and it's really bothering me, and I just shot a missile across the room. So, weapons, not good for Predaking, King, but, and some people, I mean, if you saw the teaser for Season 3, you know that Predaking King is huge. So, uh, we are coming out with, like, they are coming out with Ultimate Slash, I call them Leader Classes of Optimus Prime and Predaking. King. So, very, very excited. Now, you can see he's got a, if I can get a light, beautiful Predacom logo right there. Uh, really nice face sculpt where his head's actually a soft rubber as well. Um, just kind of like the Dreadwing toy. Now, if I can get a light, you can see in there he's got, like, yellow eyes. Sorry, I know this is a really bad light. Uh, you can see he's got yellow eyes, but they're actually hard and painted and part of this little gray bit that's on his neck now like unlike the dreadwind finger if you rotate dreadwind finger figure if you rotate this you're not risking breaking those eyes but because of the rubber of his head that eye his well if he's looking at the camera his left uh is like a lot smaller than his right eye so it's it kind of sucks because it looks like he's like surprised like, who like, whoo, kind of like the look on the Transformers animated blackout toy. Now, his articulation, like you saw, his head will go in and out. And it looks like it'll go up and down, but it actually does not. Uh, so it just swerves left and right. Uh, the arms rotate 360 there, in and out, swivel, elbow joint, and you can see the hands are on ball joints. And then the fingers open up. I really love his hands. Uh, the waist does nothing. They go in and out, though. Forward, back, bends at the knee. And pivots at the feet. Who doesn't love some foot pivot, right? All right. So that's that. Uh, so you can get him in some pretty decent poses. So yeah, I will cut you. Uh, so I'm very excited to see how Predator King's gonna turn out in the Transformers Prime Season 3. As we all know, well, I don't know if you don't know, but you're going to find out right now, they cut it short. It's only going to be 13 episodes. That really kind of sucks. But we are getting a brand new series after that. Oh, and there goes the phone again. So, uh... Really great. I mean, his legs... Because of the way those heels are, I mean, one's up, one's down... He doesn't stand well. You gotta gotta maneuver the heels a little bit. I absolutely love those spikes on his shoulders. Really big and menacing looking. But uh really great looking. And like I said, you can do whatever the heck you want with these wings. Some people I've seen a lot of reviewers who have reviewed this already doing this. I've seen a, quite a few people doing that. And then uh you can bring them all the way down, like in the instructions, or you can do what I like to do and just fold them up against his back. So uh that that is Predaking. So, why not? Let's go ahead and transform him back to robot mode. Now, what you want to do first is kind of get these wings up and out of the way. Then you want to take this back section, take that out, take his head, or that head, rotate that out, open up the chest. Now, because his head is made of a soft rubber, I'm going to tell you something right now. Now, let me get one of my lights in here, just to show this to you. As you can see, well, let me get his head in first of all. When you put his head in, you want to just make sure it's facing straight down. Well, facing straight down, just like that. Any further, and that rubber bits of his head is getting stuck. You're going to have to jam it through, risking breaking that rubber. So leave it straight down, fold the chest right back up, and rotate the head around. Okay? Oh, oh this is going to look really weird. There's Predaking with a dragon head. Oh, that's, that is awesome. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, now you want to take this, put that forward. Uh, take, I don't even know what I want to do next. Uh, take these, rotate those back. Rotate these back and in. Rotate these down. Rotate these, 
Rotate these. Rotate these. Rotate, rotate, ro ro rotate, ro 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 rotate. Uh, take his waist. Fold that up. Now I can never remember which leg is supposed to go where. Crud. Uh, take this out. Take that out. And then same with the other one. Oh, you can't see what I was doing. Rotate that leg out, and then this, only this one on this side has to come up. And then you want to take these, and then you want to bring it up on top. And then the other one folds up like this. Bring that down. And I'm sorry, I know it's a whole giant mishmash here, but if you can get the legs looking like this, you can peg them together. I'm sorry, guys, I do terrible reviews. Go watch someone else. And then peg that. And then you can't really see it, so i got to bring in another light. That, if you give that a really good squeeze, you'll hear it click and it'll peg together. Bring these legs down and then take these little panels, fold them up. Do it on the other side, get the legs all situated, situated. And he's got very short, stubby legs in the back. I'm sorry, I know you have no idea what I'm doing. You can't see me at all. Uh, so, uh, take that, rotate that, make sure everything is just aligned. Make sure these wings look, oh, my wings are kind of loose. I have to throw some super glue on there. Uh, take this. And then this tail never ever stays normal. But uh, take this. Everything's gonna be straight. Make sure everything is just aligned the way you would like it. Now, because of the way the legs are designed, where they end up in kind of different spots, the back legs one height one it has a different height than the other, so he does not really stand well. So we'll rotate the waist, and then these feet just kind of. Fold up, fold up, fold down, fold down. Put everything how you would like it. Pull your tail into his butt. Uh, now, if you want to, you can take the dragon heads and put them on. I like them. I'll, I'll throw them right on there, and I guarantee you while I'm doing this, Missile's gonna fire. And I'm pretty sure you're actually supposed to keep... Oh, well, I put that one on the wrong side. I'm pretty sure the gear part is supposed to be sticking out. Like, on the outside, like that. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Oh. Now, now, I believe the... Real way you're supposed to do is have them facing straight forward, but it looks kind of like smushed together. So I like having them angled out like that. And oh, whoa, 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 calm down there. And uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, here we've got the Almighty Predator King back in his robot mode. Now, uh, if you co are collecting these new Beast figures, I think he's a wonderful addition. Uh, if you'd rather wait for the bigger version, oh, I f did I mention his mouth opened? With the lights, and I guess. I don't know if it's going to be better, the leader ultimate version. Go ahead, wait for that. But this Voyager figure is lovely. I think it is absolutely amazing. It does suffer from, like, no great weapons in robot mode because you can't hold them. But, uh, this foot should be staying down more like, like that. But, uh, absolutely recommend this guy. Absolutely recommend him. He looks absolutely fantastic. He's not even fitting on frame. <laughs> looks great in both modes. And, come on. He's even got an opening mouth. That's awesome. So, uh, if you like Beast Transformers, this is an absolutely lovely one to have. I'm not even a giant fan of the Beast Transformers. I've never really enjoyed a lot of them. But I think this guy's absolutely amazing. Uh, you don't want to wait for that ultimate one. You'd like a Predaking right now. Go ahead, pick him up. He is available, I think, only at Toys R Us right now. Maybe he's available in other... Uh, he might be, he's probably available in other places. Uh, I know Big Bad Toy Store has them. Go over there. They're great people. Uh, so, yeah. This has been Pixar Prime 10 review of the Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Voyager Class Predaking. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.